Yeehaw, Pokemon fans! My name is Nico Me, and today we are bringing in the whole family. Yes, yeah, so today I'm going to talk about the possibility that... This is stupid. I'm taking this off. Okay. Ew, like a little bit of hay fell off. Um, Pokemon Red and Blue 2. Yeah. Now, there is a lot of things going on in the Pokemon world right now. They're sketchy as all heck, okay? There is the Zeraora Pokemon, right? Pokemon Generation 7 is officially over when it comes to events and online play in terms of there is nothing left to bring. Uh, last time there was nothing left to bring, Sun and Moon came out. Uh, yes, Vol Volcanion and X and Y, when that was fully announced, yes. Whoo! <laughs> They were like, X and Y, okay, Z, oh, we don't know what that is. The, to us, the, the Game Freak was like, the alphabet ends at letter Y. We don't recognize the letter Z. So yeah, we're going to be talking about a lot of crazy stuff today on today's episode of Nintendo Switch Update, Nintendo News Update with Nico and me. So let's get crack a in with some news. Now, there is no actual, like, news. Okay, that, that was a horrible way to open a video. Like, there is no actual news. This is more so a discussion. A uh, discussion talking about how I think that the next Pokemon game will be Pokemon Red and Blue 2 or Pokemon Red and Blue Remastered for the Switch. Switch. Now, if you are a Reset Era member like myself, it is a gaming forum. You see Cerebi. I love Cerebi. Uh, Joe Merrick. Honestly, Man Crush Monday. Can we be can we be honest? Today's not a Monday, but um, not even like a, an appearance way, but I just like love him as a person. He's a hardworking Pokemon fellow. Anyone who can run a business about Pokemon news, I, I, I'm not successful with that yet, so props to him, but he keeps saying every single message he says is like, you don't know it's generation eight. You don't know that the next Pokemon game is generation eight. He says that literally 30 times a day on the forum. And it's like, okay, wait a minute. Could the next Pokemon game, Joe Merrick, Cerebi, if you don't know what Cerebi is, are you really a Pokemon fan? Cerebi is basically where you get all your Pokemon news and information, and Joe Merrick is the guy who runs it, and that's the guy who keeps saying, I'm not so sure, it's Generation 8. So, we have gotten so many leaks, fake and potentially real, of people riding Lapras's on water, and uh, they have been teasing so much about an evolution, they've been teasing, they've been throwing out Eevees, they've been throwing out Vaporeons, they've been throwing out so much Generation 1 love, they always pander to the Generation 1 fans constantly on their Twitter and Facebook and all that, uh, they've been talking about Team Rock and all that, it's, they always talk about their Generation 1 love, right? But one thing that's very interesting to point out is that Pokemon Go, right? All about Generation 1, massive success. They've never had a success bigger than that, in my opinion. They, it was a cultural phenomenon. Nintendo Switch is their first ever console game. Their first ever mobile game was all about Generation 1. I feel like their first ever console game could be about Generation 1, going back to the classics. Now, if Pokemon does come out in 2018, uh, which is looking more and more likely that it could be, uh, they've been going all around getting translators and casting people for uh, jobs for localization, meaning that it's in its final legs of being made. It's very interesting because that means they finished Pokemon Sun and Moon in 2016. <laughs> I just got a notification. Is Pokemon Gen 2 the perfect sequel? Not when this sequel comes out. No, but seriously. Uh, what was I talking about? Um, the, the game... In terms of who they're looking for for jobs right now, they're looking for people who can translate into other languages. The game could potentially be done as soon as this summer, you know? That would mean they only had two years. Two years to make this new game because Pokemon Ultra Sun Ultra Moon, they had another team make that. So this core Pokemon team, two years, potentially more if they had other people working on it while they were making Sun and Moon. Um, now, I do not believe that they could make a fully fleshed out Pokemon Generation 8 game with a new story, new characters, new Pokemon, uh, new region, new, uh, new plot, new everything in two years. That is good. Really, really good put together. They usually take two to three years with the new Pokemon Generation. I think... It just makes sense that with the time constraint they put themselves under, they just remade Gen 1. You know, remake Gen 1, make all the Gen 1 lovers happy, make all the traditional Pokemon fans happy, make all the Pokemon fans who, who aren't that big Pokemon fans that want to get into Pokemon, really like Pokemon Go, 
who know Pikachu, Venusaur, Charizard, they know all the Gen 1 Pokemon, get them riled up and excited for Pokemon again. And guess what? Guess what, folks? When everyone says the next game to be remade is Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, they're wrong. Technically, the game that is next to be remade is Fire Red and Leaf Green. If you really think about it, what was the game that came after Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire? Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green. That has not been remade yet. Technically, the oldest Pokemon region and game to not be remade is Gen 1. Because the last Gen 1 remake was in Gen 3. Gen 4 is after Gen 3. So if you really think about it, Gen 1 needs to be remade before Gen 4 in terms of what has come out the latest. There is not a single Gen 1 game, a fire, red, leaf, green game on a DS or 3DS. Uh, there is a DS game of uh, Diamond and Pearl. That's just an interesting thought I thought of. Uh, now, when it comes to Pokemon coming soon and it being Gen 1, this is more so a discussion rather than leak. So, uh, please take this all with a grain of salt. But... I really think Pokemon has been pandering to Gen 1 for a long time now. Uh, they've been talking about uh, so much Gen 1 Pokemon in X and Y. X and Y, your Pokemon, your starter, you got a Gen 1 starter. You got a Squirrel and a Bulbasaur after the second gym. It was so soon, you got an evolution, a Mega Evolution of a starter. They remade, they got, they gave Mega Evolutions to so many Gen 1 Pokemon. Then in Generation 7, Pokemon Sun and Moon, they gave Alola forms to only Generation 1 Pokemon. When Pokemon Go came out, and that was massive, it was only Generation 1 Pokemon. Now, Game Freak definitely knows, I mean, Game Freak didn't make Pokemon Go, but they can look at the data. Uh, they know that Pokemon Gen 1 is the biggest and biggest audience. You know, us Pokemon fans, the people watching this video... I would say most of us, we don't really like Gen 1 that much in comparison to other generations. I see people loving Gen 5, Gen 4, Gen 3 the most, Gen 2 even. I rarely see people who are big Pokemon fans say that Gen 1 is their favorite because they know the game has improved so much since then. And I think a Gen 1 remake would actually be very beneficial because... We'd get Gen 1 with all of the additions since then. And I really do like Gen 1. I like it as a base game. But going back and playing it is so outdated now. And it needs a remake. And you'd be you'd be appealing to the hardcore Pokemon fans. Because you'd get more probably Mega Evolutions. More Z moves. More new forms. Uh, I'm sure all of us will, will spend $60 the second the game comes out. To see Kanto and Pokemon on the home TV. You know what I mean? So, they don't really need to worry about us core Pokemon fans that much. When it comes to a big audience, going from handhelds, for 20 years they've been making games for only handhelds, now going to a home console bigger than ever, I think it'd be very symbolic to start the new generation of Pokemon. Uh, not generation in terms of new games, but starting the new chapter of what it means to be a Pokemon game on the on, on the TV, I think it'd be very symbolic to start off at Gen 1 all over again. I think it really would. And they've been pandering to Gen 1 for so long now, it feels like they just... I feel like every Pokemon generation, 6 and 7 and since then, has been half Gen 1, half the new generation. They just appeal to Gen 1 so much. Literally, you go there... You're, oh, you're fresh from Kanto. Oh, Lily's going to Kanto. Oh, oh, look at all these Alolan forms of just Kanto Pokemon. Oh, look at these Mega Evolutions all from Kanto. Oh, look at all these uh, starters you can pick from. They're all from Kanto. Look at these Mega Evolutions of starter Pokemon. Oh, they're all from Kanto. It's just Kanto this, Kanto this, Gen 1 this, Gen 1 that. And I'm kind of getting sick of it, and I kind of want a fresh new generation. But at the same time, I think it really would be symbolic and really cute if the first ever Pokemon game on the big screen... It, it, mainline Pokemon game. I know we have Gale of Darkness and all that. I think it'd be really, really interesting if, and symbolic, if the first one was back in Gen 1. And I just, I don't know, I really, really, really do like the idea of that. So I want you to, you know, this wasn't a, a brand new, like, leak. Like, oh my gosh, Gen 1, ah, uh, like, it's happening. Like, I'm not telling you it's happening. I'm just saying there is a chance, there is a chance of it happening. Because when you do think about it, the next Pokemon game to be remade Technically, on a timeline scale, is 
fire red, leaf green. And I know that's a remake of a remake. But theoretically, Kanto is the last game that has been remade. Chronologically. Before Diamond and Pearl. As well as um, all the Gen 1 pandering and the screenshots of Ryan Lapras and I don't know. It just... And every time you look up Pokemon Switch, you see a bo- uh you you'll see a Charizard, you'll see a Blastoise, and it's just like, is this what it's gonna be? And I, honestly, it'd be so cool too if you started off Gen One like in Kanto with new Pokemon, like a brand new stars you've never seen before, like at the start of Kanto. I think that'd be really cool too. I don't know. I just really want I want I want to see Professor Oak in three D, like in brand new lighting. You know, I want to see Misty. I want to see Brock. Like, I want to see them again. I kind of miss them, you know? So, who knows? It could be a thing. I want to know what your ideas are. Like, do you want a Gen 1 remake uh, for the first game on Switch? Or do you want a brand new game? Do you want a Diamond and Pearl? I love Diamond and Pearl. Diamond and Pearl is, like, my either second or third. It goes back and forth a lot. Either my second or third favorite Pokemon game is Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. Um, and I, li- I like it more than Ryan Blue. But... I would love to see that remade too, but I think I think the first game on Switch will not be a Diamond and Pearl remake. It'll either be Red and Blue sequel, remake, or Gen 8. One of the following. And, I don't know, Joe, Merrick seems pretty sure that it's not going to be Gen 8. So we'll see, we'll see. Thanks for the discussion, though. I want to hear what your thoughts are below. Do you think it's going to be a Gen 1 remake, or do you think it's going to be brand new? And do you think it's coming out in 2018? I just think that a new Pokemon game, it, it just seems rushed to me, you know? I, I Again, Pokemon, I love Pokemon so much. I So, so much. I love, 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 love Pokemon. Uh, my favorite franchise of all time. But I am a little worried that if it comes out in 2018, the first ever home console Pokemon game, I just fear it's a little rushed. I know they go fast almost annually, but I just, I just think it'd be a little rushed. So I'm a little worried. That's why I think I'd be happy with a Gen 1 remake. Because we know they already know. They didn't have to make a new story, a new Pokemon. It's easier to make, quicker. You know what I mean? So I don't know. Comment down below your thoughts. I'll see you later. This was a nice little traditional Nico me discussion video. I haven't made one of these in a long time. So if you like it, subscribe. See you later. Did you enjoy that Nintendo YouTube video? Well, smash that subscribe button block for more Nico Me videos coming every single day. All about Mario, Super Smash Brothers, Splatoon, Zelda, and everything you want from Nintendo. See you next time!